I don't think there's any particular fine art to cooking steak. Here's how I do it. So I've got a nice bit of sirloin steak here. Uh, rubbed it in oil, salt and pepper. And now I'm just going to put it fat side down into the pan. Render off a little bit of that fat, which will then cook the steak in to add more flavour. Now some of that fat has uh, rendered off into the pan. It's nicely brown on the side of the meat. I'm going to lay the steak down into the pan. The pan's not too hot. We don't want to burn it on the outside. It's uh, a fairly medium to high heat. You can go into lots of detail for when you think the steak is done from the touch of it. When you've figured out the steak's done enough for you, a very important stage, which is often missed out, is resting the meat. For me to rest the meat, I just wrap it up in tin foil. And that retains some of the heat of the steak, allowing it to rest, allowing the juices to soak back towards the middle of the steak. I usually rest that for 5 or 10 minutes. Whilst that's resting, I'm going to prepare to make a sauce for the steak. So I'm putting a bit more oil in the pan. And now I'm going to add some sliced mushrooms. Here I'm using shiitake mushrooms. Now those mushrooms have nicely browned off, I'm going to add some alcohol to the pan. You can add more or less whatever you like. Today I'm using some brandy, you can obviously use uh, marsala or madeira to add a little bit of sweetness and richness to the sauce. Once we've let the alcohol evaporate, we can thicken the sauce with some cream. Here I'm using double cream. Once your sauce is heated through, reduce down a little bit, taste it, add seasoning if need be. Before you serve up the meat, some of the juices are often still in the foil, and I will always add those to the sauce to give it an extra depth of flavour. Now the sauce is done, let's give it a go on our rested steak. Jobs are good.